Hello Rangers, my name is Nash and welcome back to Legacy Wars. Today we have the new Ninjetti Tommy arriving to Legacy Wars. And this person has triple block. Oh, okay, so that just means metal slot, but I start with a block. Poke the ones, Crescent Blade, ah, oh, Crescent Wave. And I end up being slow up. Well, that ended up happening. They do have mostly everything that's... They just have mostly blocks, but I only have one breaker that can really hit them. And they have theirs. Okay. How about a teleport attack? And you've been caught. Now, full launch into a dashing impact. This does let me do it twice, so at least I can just catch up in damage. Back away. I can dodge. And... Okay, I couldn't even block that one. Black Spike appears, and they're going to activate their strike. But no. Here's a teleport attack to launch you once again. And another teleport attack. This way I can at least rotate into another one of these attacks. Into a ninja strike. Just to throw them with a kunai jutsu once more. Just because they use too many blocks. He mostly just seems to be a long combo. Low damage character. Unlike Ranger Slayer. Uh, more like um, not close to being what Ranger Slayer does. However, he does still have his issues where his block does actually interfere with his combos a lot more than you'd think. Teleport attack. Strike them. And slam them down. Now the reason is, yeah, you can't exactly use your first lot at all, and when you do, you, you, they can still block it. So, teleport attack once again, I hit you first, and here's a crescent wave, set it up for a kunai jutsu. This way, they'll be hit by the crescent wave. Here's the thing, using all these teams, this one is just the only one that's, well, mostly to do with his launch, uh, with launches. Dashing impact into another one. Now, here's the thing. Zenaku and the to oh, Tommy assist. They provide a lot of utility when it comes to launching, but they also, uh, well, Zenaku's in the same slot, so he's gonna have to set up two Crescent Waves and block here. This way, I don't know why I'm just... Uh, okay, he, they at least got launched twice. Falcon launch and Ninja Strike. They're still in the air. I can activate the super and throw them once again with another Kunai Jutsu because uh, it's just way too... I don't know why they made that easy to land. Yeah, similar to Scorpina, this is actually what Tommy has to do. He only can use his metal slots, or otherwise you're just going to be stuck with something you don't want, like his uh, meditation in the first slot, or a block, as you can tell how I start this match. So, Crimson Wave, set this up, and teleport attack. Yeah, no, okay, I dashed into that one. Teleport attack again, here's a stun, and at least a double hit for that launch. And back away, they're likely to use Sam, but they don't. Dashing Impact, and Ninja Strike. Now I can use the Shinobi Jutsu once again, and finally land a Falcon Dive Kick. I get it again, so I guess I'll go with the Ninja Strikes into another Falcon Dive Kick after recovering three. So, once again, Falcon Dive Kick. The next thing we have is plenty of Tommies. Just V1 and V2 assists, just because, well, they are the right, they, they are the correct type, and they let him Okay, they prevent him from getting caught by many things that you don't want, so that's kind of the point. So, meditation, you're gonna be blocked, poked once, and here's a v uh, Dragon Power from V2. The difference is, at least, in this case, he at least has more, uh, he has more utility, or at least a breaker that can hit point blank. Here's another dashing impact, and activate the super here for a ninja strike into, well, I'm just gonna recover some energy. Falcon Dive Kick, you better, you try to block it, but that's the wrong attack you could have done. But, how about Flying Kick, and now I can back away into a Kunai Jutsu, yay! Okay, at least more utility based in the sense that at least I can just go right next to them, and hit the breaker, and they'll still, they'll still get hit. Dragon Power once again, you fall for the exact same trick. So, Dashing Impact, and that's the second one. I could have used the Teleport Attack, you know. But, back away, and Teleport Attack, this time, to launch you once again. Now I can activate this to recover some energy. Ninja strikes. Now, nope. ah, okay. I can just send it back against you again. Stun. And how about a kunai jutsu? This way, you won't be getting up just yet. And dash away. Falcon dive. And you've been caught. Just a few fast hits. Yeah, he can just teleport behind you. And there goes your health. He does do that with his teleport attack, but so does he. It's the same thing with his other attack too. That's a block. And here's a dashing impact here, well, Ninja Strikes should at least stun you, and I'm likely going to see them use Kaya, but no, okay, Dashing Impact, nope, they block, and I did get it twice for once, which is quite something. So, Flying Kick, this should be blocked, yep, there it is, I'm gonna block it, and Teleport Attack. This will launch you, let me recover two, to get a Dashing Impact right after this Ninja Strike. Actually, yeah, I, I guess I'll use it here, activate the Super, Falcon Dive Kick, because, well, it just works. Now, 
You'll be knocked away, and I'm expecting Kaya, so I have to dash away, back away again, and block here. I'll poke you once, and there's the block, and now the ninja strikes, this time, ah, okay, they use a the meditation. That's at least a block, so, do, are you gonna dive, or, nope, that's a kunai jutsu. Oh, well, one to one, so, kunai jutsu, yet, yet, and, just stop. Well, it looks like we have someone else other than Tommy finally appearing, but they're still using Tommy assist. Pokemon, nope, oh, okay, that didn't work at all. Uh, they know how to dash, so I need to remove this, but it was the wrong attack to remove dashing impact. Nope. Eh, uh, there goes my health. So, let's see. Block here with a meditation, poke them once, into... Okay, never mind, it didn't... Eh, uh, it didn't cancel. Dashing impact, I can try and catch up in damage if they don't end up doing something. Back away, block, and teleport attack. Now I should be able to just use something that most likely will just set up for quite a long combo. Keep them stunned, kunai jutsu, into a ninja strikes, which will keep them stunned once again. And another kunai jutsu. I didn't get the dashing impact, but this is enough damage. I could have used uh, Delphine instead of White Tiger Tommy on the first team, but meh, I, it's uh, more launches instead of a stun. So for this one, I'm just bringing White Tiger, uh, what? Why am I say White Tiger? Uh, still, I'm bringing Wh uh, Whitening Jetty Ranger Tommy once again to team up with Adam for the... Okay, for just pretty much the Ninjetti team. Falcon Launch and Ninja Strikes. Okay, I missed the first hit, but it's still landed. As you can tell, this is why you don't run to Adam. Now I have way too many blocks. However, it did save me there. Teleport attack, and now you will be launched once again. And there's the Falcon Dive Kick. Use it once. And now, I guess I'll not launch you into the corner with the Ninja Strikes. And now, just done. Disconnected opponent just before this. They weren't there. Guess I have to just carry on with this one. The team does have its ups and downs where it's obviously going to spam me with blocks, but at least the good thing is, for once, I don't think I got block spam there. Or more like I didn't get hit by multiple, just regular no EP blocks. Fuck them once, and dashing impact. You're not going to get away with that one. Now they do have Kaya, and they likely did rotate, so block here. And teleport attack. This should let me set it up for after using a dashing impact into a ninja strikes, which will result in a stun. And to end off with a falcon dive kick. Now strike them through and launch down. And that one, uh, yeah, Alorian, better better make sure you don't just spam the blocks. I did that a few times against the, when using her the other, another, in a different video, but uh, just against this one, you'd rather not get hit. Well, I did have to remove the block, but ninja, ninja strikes into a teleport. Now, I already saw the block, and I, I cut off the the name of it as soon as I saw it. Okay, so, cut dashing impact, and there's a block. So, ninja strikes, just to get some energy back. Recover two, teleport attack, and dashing impact should at least set up for a combo for a falcon dive kick. Eh, not, not really. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to stun them. And now, falcon dive kick. So far, not any matches that actually completely destroyed him, or he destroyed anyone. That is, uh, well, you can get matches that will be lucky because of perfects, but dashing impact into a teleport attack. This way, they'll be launched, and they like, okay, they have Merrick and they have their own assist, so I don't know which one they start with, but you'll be blocked, and dashing impact, because you really think you could block that. Here's a ninja strikes, and now I guess I can activate the super for a falcon dive kick, recovering about to just to be able to use a ninja strikes, right after, just to stand once again, back away, and kunai jutsu. You had to use a strike there, didn't you? That's a perfect for Tommy against Tommy. It's a little weird, but it apparently does happen if you do lock them down. That is, unless they actually manage to stop your attacks. In one instance, they did use a block, and but I cancelled the meditation. That way, they just had to not block, and I would have done probably a dashing impact right after anyway. But yeah, that was Tommy. He he has speed. He has some damage. His, his damage is actually a lot more than most, uh, in the sense that at least every one of his attacks do more than 2,000. This is an auto level, obviously. This is an auto level. So that does mean he can do quite a few combos. Ninja Strike, way too useful for that stun. However, the good thing is, it's in the slot with Meditation. So that means he can't just use it over and over. He, he actually needs to be lucky. Mostly, you just need to use the middle slot, and you'll be fine, but... Yeah, don't don't rely on the first slot, otherwise you're just gonna get caught, which is exactly what happened in yesterday's stream. But this time, lots of the middle slot, and no problems at all. Just make sure to extend the combos, that's pretty much what you have to do. 
Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, comment if there's something you'd like to see, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to not miss anything. As your Discord, it's in the description. There's a page down below that. So you can support me there, and your name will appear around this time in the video. And I'll see you on the next Founders video. Goodbye.